You know, if you've been in this hobby long enough with headphones and stuff, you notice people talking about how things scale. And it could be a, the word scale could be kind of confusing because like fish have scales and mm. that, of course that's not this. You weigh things on a scale. You weigh things on a scale. Yeah. yeah. In the English definition, yeah, there's like one, two, three, four, five, probably six got 20, yeah. 20 different things that scale could stand for. So what does it mean for headphones? Yeah. So like scale behind us with the planets. Yeah. So usually well, this is not the scale. It's not the scale for right. sure, yeah. yeah. But it it's shows how scale. it shows how each planet compares to another in size, and I right. think that's what scale. When we talk about scale in a in an audio headphone system, right? We're talking about usually scaling upward or things that cause it to improve, cause the sound to get better. I guess is what you describe. Usually, it. you're talking about performance, which of course is kind of an abstract term, right? So you're saying maybe this headphone scales. Uh, beyond where your system currently is capable. So it means it has more headphone performance than the system is currently capable of, which is kind of hard to define without trying to not hire on gear and hearing that. Yeah, there's no scale number that uh, is placed on any particular device, whether there's it be not. a headphone or an amplifier. Or People are working on that, yeah. kind of. Yeah, yeah. right, yeah. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be nice if you could say, oh, this is seven ah, scale units 52 high. scale <laughs> units. Good. Yeah. Good. It would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, it's still, and I think it'll always be subjective. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it is music. We're listening to music. It's not, you know, it's not, um, unless it's AI generated, maybe that can define mm. scale. I don't know. <laughs> well, right <laughs> now, <laughs> the way most people use it, more or less, all it really means is if people say this headphone or amp or deck or whatever scales well, it tends to mean that it'll work great in a low range, mid range setup, and it'll work great above and beyond that. So it'll continue to perform. So usually it's a very positive attribute. You want your headphone to scale because it means you don't need to replace it as fast. Right, it's not the limiting factor even when you yeah. upgrade your equipment. Yeah, and you tend to see that at the, you know, on the lower end of things. I mean, if you're running a, a $50 headphone, it probably sounds fine to you, right? Because that's what you're accustomed to but it's probably not going to scale. So it gets, it could be confusing. Maybe not as much. Yeah. Right, yeah. It, right, right. Yeah. You could, you could, you could put, put it on, on 15,000. Like it'll sound amp. better, it'll but be a little better. It, but it yeah. will be better, yeah. 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 Uh, some, you never know, some of them might be exceptional. It could, be. <laughs> could be. But for the most part, it, it may scale in some areas, but it's probably not gonna go to a really high level. So that's why most people don't hear differences at the right. lower end, you know, when they change a DAC or they change something, it's like, well, I don't really hear it. Well, you don't hear it because the speakers aren't capable of that's why you would it. build your system more or less with sort of matched price points, at least close enough. Yeah. You know, if you have a ten thousand dollar amp with a fifty dollar headphone, it's not to say that it's gonna sound bad, but it's kind of a waste of money unless you plan on building the system around this high end gear, um, because you're not gonna get the performance out of it. The other stuff probably won't scale up to the same level, um, and you'll get more out of your other stuff as your system improves. But oftentimes, your lower cost things don't grow as much as the rest of the system. It's, a, it's an So you evolution. don't hear the difference. So it isn't really a good value. You're not spending the money on something that's going to deliver a valuable experience. Well, I think most people, like, they that don't really know what scale means, they start out with, like, a portable, you know, and then they finally get their first, like, desktop amp, and they're like, oh, you know, this is this is different. And all of a sudden, <laughs> it's way more dynamic. Yeah, right, right. It's got way more power and energy available too. Yeah, like I get it. Now. So now, yeah, you, yeah, right. You get, and then you got some music that has a lot of energy to give you, right? right. So now you got it all there, and it's coming at well, you. Like I mean, a that's, wave. that's the thing about scale is it it worked fine before, right? You listen to it for a year, two years, whatever. But then you know you take that leap into a bigger amp or whatever, and you're like, oh, yeah, the headphone right. hasn't changed. But that's now, sort of the thing you get typically with high-end headphones and amps and DACs and stuff, it's not to say that you'll plug it in and it'll be like, whoa, this is this most amazing experience ever. You may not get that. And that's part of the reason why you see such varied reviews on products. If your system around this other thing is kind of subpar, you're not gonna get this amazing experience. Oftentimes it'll sound great, but the real key is the headphone, the DAC, the amp or whatever, it'll typically scale. So as you improve your other stuff, it'll kind of move up in level. To match it yeah it's kind of a i mean when you look at it as an evolution process evolutionary process where you start somewhere and then you're in, you're on some sort of continuous path where you're trying to improve the sound yeah. you want you want to you're hearing good things you want to hear more good things right mm -hmm. you want to hear 
the drums sound more visceral or real. You want to hear the vocals sound more intimate or lifelike, right? right? All these things you start to seek when you get into the better stuff, better headphone systems, better electronics and so on. And it tends to be kind of a leapfrog effect, right? When you think about it, well, you start with a headphone, you plug it into something, you're listening to music, it works. Okay, now you get the, the, the bug to change something. So you, get, you got the headphone, or are you gonna stick with that for now? Now you get a headphone amp or some other DAC or whatever, you change a piece of electronics, right? Now that gets better. Now now that's better, right? So right. now, now okay, now where do I go? Well, now we got another piece you can change. Maybe you, know, you only did one part of the system, now you're gonna do something else. Then you've got other things you can improve upon, like cables and stuff like that, too. Yeah, different so. streaming services, you know, Source. streamers, sources, all kinds of stuff, vinyl, yeah. you know. So it tends to, like, we call I would call it a leapfrog, where, you know, one improvement gets you to the next step. Now, now what's still deficient? Then you improve on that, right? Mm -hmm. Now you're looking at the overall system again. What's deficient? What do you think you can improve on? You improve on that. And at some point, you, you run out of that space, for scale, right. so now, okay, now I'm gonna go and spend more money on a headphone. I'm gonna get a better headphone. Then the whole process usually starts over again, because yeah. now you can scale the system to the level of that new headphone. You see, a lot speaker. of people, yeah, they don't want it to, like, oh, because they need to replace everything every time you wanna, like, leapfrog to the next, like, big improvement. Yeah. So some people go the opposite, and they start out with a, a headphone that's known to scale well or something, and you start out with more modest gear, and then you just like improve the amp, right? And you know you would know it's going to get better. Yeah, probably. you know that the headphone's not going to run out of. Right. It's not going to hit a ceiling, a hard ceiling, where it's just not going to. And what what that is, what happens is you'll reach a point if you start changing, improving the electronics in the in the system chain, you don't hear it anymore. Right. That's a telltale sign that the speakers or the headphone is that just run out of resolution. It just can't tell you the change. Something in the chain. Yeah. You know, because it should change. Something sh it should usually. good or bad. It should yeah. usually will change when you change the gear. So yeah, you run out of if you run out you if you if you run out of that change occurring, then you hit a ceiling somewhere in the system. It doesn't have to be the headphone. It could be it could be another piece in the system too. It could be the amp. Could be the DAC. Could be anything. It could be the source material. There's a lot of things that run out of resolution. So yeah, the the, the rule of thumb is you always kind of consider everything as being flawed, and you everything could be improved upon. So yeah. the bottom line is that try just work toward that goal of realizing that at some point something's going to run out of steam but again it's pretty hard to tell what that is you know if yeah, you're used to like just is. listening to the same stuff you're like all right what is the limitation it's expensive too because yeah. <laughs> yeah. what we're talking about is usually you're spending more money a every lot of time, money you know. you know so yeah so some people are happy right where they are and they're good they don't even want to go down there. try to be happy where you are yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. it's a lot I more mean, affordable it, it helps listen to other people that already did this you know yeah see what they, they're like yep this scales well this amp scales well whatever what they use it with, you know? Yeah, some of the, some of the guys on forums. Yeah, like, they've tried this already. And so. I got head fi. And if they, if yeah. you, you see what they listen to or whatever, and it's like if you listen to similar stuff, maybe you like the same kind of thing. So, yeah, that's some a good people, place to start. Some people have gone through dozens and dozens of system com combinations. Mm -hmm. You know, you think about it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there's some guys out there that know more than we do about the stuff that's out there because we don't get to oh, play sure. yeah. with all this stuff. These guys just rock through gear. Yeah. <laughs> you know, plenty of people awesome. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, you get the forums because they could chat about it, and yeah. you could learn from their experiences. That's scale, and if you're into improving on what you already have, that's what you're shooting for. You yeah. want to scale the system up to a higher level of music enjoyment. Well, yeah. and maybe one day we'll have a scale number. One day, <laughs> fifty-seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of a hundred. <laughs> it's an arbitrary number, but we don't know what the scale is going to be yet. Well, that's true, and Look, even then, that's just a number. Yeah. Because if you're at 20, then 57 is why? Double. Yeah. It's a lot more. <laughs> <Triple. huh? laughs> On that note, take care, everyone. Subscribe to us. we got good stuff coming. Take care.